Hello, hello. So we have Lorena, we have Anna, we have Janani, we have Elizabeth, we have Jessica, we have Anna. <laughs> We're so excited tonight, you guys. The month is almost over and most of you guys have achieved so many things in such little time. We're very excited about that because we're all leveling up, okay? So whether it's new team member, whether it's thinking different, whether it's posting something positive on your social media, we are feeling super excited about everyone's personal growth, okay? So I would like to hear you guys a little bit. How's everybody doing? Unmute yourselves. Don't be shy. <laughs> How are you? Elizabeth. Unmute yourself, darling. Yes. Yes, you. <laughs> I love how Elizabeth was getting rid of all of her old makeup today. I seen that on her Instagram. So I was like, yes, girl, throw it away. I don't want to see Sephora up in there. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi. Yes, I got rid of my makeup. The garbage bag is no longer there. <laughs> in the trash. Um. Awesome. Awesome. So Lorena's going to start. Oh, wait, what were you saying? El you know, I was just saying I'm wearing my new, you know, new, new. Yay, CC cream. <laughs> I thought you're looking flawless over there. I see that glow. <laughs> I, I called her earlier and she was baking. Her oh, powder. nice with the powder. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so ladies, before we begin, um, Lorena's going to start us off with a prayer. So we can please just close our eyes. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, God, for your goodness to us this month. Um, every day, Lord, you, your grace is with us. But this month has been one where we had to push through and you helped us, God. Thank you for the relationships that we have through this group, this amazing group. Bless our teachers. Bless this wonderful time that will instruct us and build us up to be better. Thank you so much for this time. Bless it. We put it in your hands. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Okay, ladies, are you ready to view my screen? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so happy Tuesday, Power Start Tuesday for us, ladies. Okay, so today's summaries class contains our little intro, our recognition. We're going to go over the Mary Kay University steps seven and eight. We're going to talk about skincare, par uh, skincare party tips, your rye, and we're gonna have a recap and time for questions, homework, and the close. Okay, here's a quote. Whatever your dream, aim high by Mary Kay Ash. Love that. So ladies, here we have consultants who invested in their business in July. So here we have Marissa, Carmen, Delia, Cindy, Ellie, Veronica, Mary, Ivania, Melissa, Teresita, Alexis, Maria, Nelly, Erica, Lorena, Yanaris, and Carla. Woo! Wow. Did so you guys many of us. did you guys hear your names? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Carmen. Welcome. Happy birthday, Hi, Carmen. Th thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So adorable, guys. Okay, so we're going to continue. And then here we have the ladies who started their month with a bang. Do you guys notice something, Lorena? Can we get close to our score <laughs> camera? Yes, look at Lorena's earrings. Me and Lorena are matching. We are wearing our spark with a chain reaction earrings, um, which means you place an order of 600 or more. So we invested in our products so that we can have the proper tools to provide facials to our clients, right? And so who, who um, invested and got their spark with a chain this month was Lorena, Delia, Carla, Yanaris and Teresita. So congratulations, ladies. The month isn't over, so I know that some of you are going to continue um, to fix your inventory and, you know, just upgrade that inventory and get your spark with the chain reaction earrings. Yes. And then here we have our senior consultants. We have Amber and we have Jessica. Ah! 
Congratulations, ladies. Are the ladies on right now? Let's see, Jessica. Jessica, you're on. Congratulations. Jessica is um, Soveda's team member. Soveda is a sales director, and she was also born in my mother's unit. So, Soveda, maybe you can introduce yourself a little bit really quick. Wait, hold on. Let's try to unmute. We're going to. Um, can you unmute you're yourself, unmute. Soveda? ¿Se puede quitar de mudo? Ask to unmute right okay, there. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, hi, ladies. <laughs> can you see me? Okay, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Well, my name is Soveda Sanchez. I'm from Nicaragua. And as, as Carla says, I am one of the uh, uh, her mom's uh, directors. So sooner, I think soon it's going to be uh, our national area <laughs> director. <laughs> so I wish the best for her. And also, I am happy because I see one of my um, unit members, Jessica. Welcome, Jessica. <laughs> she's one of my red jackets, almost. She, she's missing just two more uh, members. So yeah. I encourage you, Jessica, to just walk the, uh, the extra mile and look for those two so you can get uh, uh, those great bonuses from the company. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> I've been with the company, uh, girls, for almost 11 years, and 10 of those year, uh, 10 of those 11 years, I've been a director. So I want to tell you that you are in a good, good company, very, very uh, good. Because I've been in another uh, businesses, and I finally find what I was looking for: good um, uh, profit from the company. And uh, and I think if you continue with what you're doing, uh, I'm sure you are going to be a, a director also. And also, um, I want to say something else. When I, I used to work for the Department of Motor Vehicles, I worked there for almost 35 years. And uh, one of my dreams was um, be able to uh, to travel a lot, but because of my job, I couldn't. So I was praying and praying to find a um, another, uh, not a job, but something uh, that gives me an extra income so I can retire early. I retired uh, when I was 55 years old. So, and I found this opportunity, Mary Kay, who uh, was the, I would say, um, allowed me to make my dreams come true. So I hope you have dreams also, and I'm pretty sure that you will be able to fulfill those if you, um, how can I say, you concentrate, you focus in this company, and you will be able to do whatever is in your heart or is in your mind. Okay? Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Okay. I really Bravo, my first director. Bravo, my first director. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. hi. <laughs> she came strong. <laughs> can you guys can you guys hear us? So, huh? can you guys hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Perfect. So that lady right there that you see signed in uh -huh. as Yaneris, guys, that is Carla Somariva. That is our director. So she shared the opportunity with my, with me, Yaneris, and Soveda. Okay, uh -huh. ladies. So for those who do not know who your current director is, this is our director. Say hi, Carla. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. How are you? Congratulations, everybody. I'm very happy you have a great future directors. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to continue. So Jessica, oh wait, let me minimize. Ooh, everyone close your eyes. Okay, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so here we have Jessica. So I hope you were able to hear us. And then we also have Amber who is on the line as well, Welcome. who is a senior consultant. Amber, congrats, I'm very proud of you. Last week, she wasn't a consultant. She had zero team members, and now she has a brand new team member on her team. Therefore, she moved up a level. Okay, so congratulations, and let's continue, ladies. Okay, perfect. So here are the team leaders of the group. So the team leaders, you need to have three or more uh, team members under your team. So here we have Serena as a start team builder, right? Oh, that's cool. Guys, are you guys able to see? Car 
Yes. Carla, we can't see the screen. I just see Saveda Sanchez. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay. Hold <laughs> on a second. Okay. How about now? Let's see. Let's see. Share screen. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So here we have um, Serena as a start team builder, and then we have we have Lorena Covarrubias as an elite team leader. Yay! Lorena, where, show your face. Lorena currently has eight team members, ladies. Eight, not one or two or three or five, but eight. Oh my gosh, she is so close to having her 10 active consultants. Wow. Three weeks. so amazing. In three, three weeks. Can you share with us? You joined yes. in July, right? Lorena, you joined in July? Oh, yes. But here's what I made the decision to make it a career on July 8th. So that's about three, four weeks. Okay, three, four weeks. But I really actually worked it about two and a half weeks because I took um, a week off. I was on my negativity little thing. But in two weeks, I, we calculated it between me and Carla that it took us that long to get that amount of team members. And, you know, if we could have invested more time into into this month, I think the outcome would have been more. But just so you guys get a frame, uh, get an idea how it, this worked, within two weeks, we were able to build a team. So anything's possible. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so proud of you. Okay, guys, let's continue real quick. Okay, look, we are celebrating our July birthday babies. So here we have Amber, whose birth, everyone please unmute yourself. We have Amber Dominguez, July 2nd was her birthday. We have Angela Alberto, July 3rd. Angelica Medina, July 16th. Susanieli Samora, July 21st. Ana Alberto, July 26th. And Carmen Salazar is tonight, July 28th. <laughs> birthday ladies happy thank birthday you. happy thank birthday you, thank you thank happy you birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday <to> you. <laughs> from your mk family happy birthday to you <laughs> oh that's so sweet thank you i'll see you on thursday to celebrate my beautiful yes ma'am anna we're gonna have yes. our little makeup session yes ma'am anna's online she's right there Oh, is she? Okay, okay. Right I'm here. on my phone, so can't see everybody, but yeah. Okay, okay. cool. I think you can swipe. I think you can swipe to the right. Yes, 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 yes. I just don't want to lose you guys. <laughs> Perfect, ladies. So now I would love to talk to Anna. Anna, if you can unmute yourself, I would love for you to introduce yourself. And here I have a little bit of questions for you. If you can please share with us your name. Who invited you to get a facial? Who was your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant? Carmen. What did you think about the entire facial experience and what was your favorite skincare product of the night? Um, hi, my name is Anna Coffee Cup. Um, I actually, Carmen invited me probably years ago, um, but I was the one that kind of needed, um, I kept seeing how her, her skin looked amazing, especially her makeup all the time. And I actually asked her if she was available. If she was available and she, and Carmen is uh, is the one um, the uh, Carmen and Carla uh, consulted with the the whole makeup I mean facials thing and um I think I loved everything I told you that um I couldn't pick from one item um I wanted everything that he, that I put on that night um uh, definitely needed it and I. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, she tried the charcoal mask, guys. And what did the yeah. charcoal mask tell you? Um, that I had like around where my daughter's scratching, it was like bacteria oh spots, white spots. And I was like, whoa, that is crazy. Oh um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Anna, and welcome to welcome. our Zoom meeting. I hope you enjoyed this class. <laughs> and she brought her cousins with her too, which was fun remember <laughs> she did it was a full-on party guys yes. so we're gonna actually get me carmen anna and her cousins will be um joining us this thursday we're gonna have a whole makeup session so that's gonna be fun uh-huh anna yes we are. can't wait we're gonna do a tiktok too 
<laughs> well, not us, but they are <laughs> with their makeover. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, ladies. Awesome. So here we have, okay, the homework that was due this week, I hope all of you got a chance to catch up. And if you didn't, here we have our previous homework assignments that were the Mary Kay University steps one through six. And then uh, what we're covering this week would be steps seven and eight. Seven and eight is the art of selling and how to, how to build your team. Also, ladies, you had to work on your skincare confident because this will help you provide the best skincare regimen for your clients. And now we're going to begin with the Mary Kay University um, step seven. And I would love to read this little quote with you guys. So Mary Kay Ash always said, nothing happens until somebody sells something. And, that great, and the great news is that selling is a skill that can be observed, repeated, and learn. Plus through the technology, you have the opportunity to build relationships and meet your customers' needs in person or virtually. So ladies, can you guys see our faces now? Yes, perfect. So here in this class, now we're going to have teachers and they're gonna go in debt and telling us a little bit more how to work virtually in person and how to use technology in a better way to promote yourself in your business. How does that sound? Awesome. So we're going to continue. So we're going to start off with Amber. And Amber will tell us how to work virtually and selling with heart. Yay. Yay. So unmute yourself and we're going to be on mute. Okay. Are you on mute? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, the first topic is how to work virtually. So I'm a Facebook Live type of woman. Um, I put everything on Facebook Live um, and on Instagram. Um, so that's a way to work virtually. Um, so on Saturday, Carla came over and sh we did a facial party. Sorry, Manny is on the roll. Yeah, it's a pirate ship cover. Um, so sorry, he just threw me off. Um, so Carla came over, we did a facial party on Saturday. Uh, I hosted and she came and did her thing and I was posting pictures, um, a little, you know, small stories on my Snapchat and on my Instagram. And I was tagging Mary Kay, which I never do, but I did. Um, and I posted a bomb selfie of myself on Facebook. And I got a lot of feedback on it because I don't wear makeup. That's just not my thing. Um, but Carla obviously had the time of day to do my makeup. It took 45 minutes to the T. Um, and she had me looking snatched um, because I had a lot of likes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so the next topic is selling with heart. Um, uh, so on Saturday, uh, Carla, in the way she spoke to my family, um, she made them feel like they weren't pressured to buy anything. Um, so she made them feel great. She made them feel a sense of positivity on Saturday about themselves. Like my aunt came in with a mindset that the facial party was gonna be um, something start to finish really fast. No description, no really instruction on what each item was. And Carla from start to finish, um, she literally talked them through every single product, what they did, what the product was meant to be for, what it was gonna feel like. And um, from start to finish, she made them feel awesome. Um, my aunt uses jabon sote for her face cause she's like Mexican. So she like uses jabon sote, which is for like to wash, 
like your hands and like clothes and stuff so she uses that for her face and she said that her face felt really clean but it felt girl yes um it felt really like dry so um carla you know told her about why it felt dry why she felt like that and why it wasn't good for her face to do that um she put the charcoal mask on and it that's my favorite thing so and she loved it um they made a purchase her and my grandma because my grandmother was living with the um machine um my auntie at the end uh she was so worried about the time consuming part of it oh i don't have enough time and carla was like you know what you can make it work it it works amber's doing it you know and the reason why they came is because they seen the difference in my face um they were the, always the one getting mad at me stop picking your face you know your face is really you're breaking out and they seen the difference that's why they were so positive to come um she my auntie came in to the class and she's like okay you know i'm ready uh she did the whole from start to finish at the end um she expressed that she genuinely loved the products the way they made her face feel her face felt fresh she didn't know how to express it she was just like i don't know how to express it i don't know how to but she felt really good she was speechless um she wanted to feel what i kept telling her every day she seen me um when i would you know come in with my red cheeks no makeup um she also expressed how she loved how everything was step by step um and then what product she needed for her face for her skin type um she felt really um sure about the product she got because Carla was like this is gonna help you and this is what's gonna work and that's what she tried on that day it wasn't any like oh probably this is gonna help here take it put it on and let's see if it works no she put it on that day and it's like so Carla texted her the day after and to see how she felt and she was over the moon I actually texted her last night and she's like girly I'm waiting for the products to come, but you got to like write down everything on the schedule, like you have in your bathroom. Um, so yeah, selling with heart means what my auntie was feeling the next day. My grandma, girl, I can't even tell you, she hasn't called me because she feels bomb as heck because she can't wait till these products come in and she's more excited about the machine that you gave her a massage with. So they remember, you know, my auntie loved it. My cousin, I hit her up last night and she's, like I said, she's still waiting for her dad. She keeps telling her dad. So that's selling with heart for them to remember the experience and for them to feel good about themselves at the end. Thank you, Amber. Can okay. you hear me? Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Loved so it. <laughs> um, to add on, well, like Amber was saying, like selling with heart, ladies, you guys can't go in there with the mentality like, oh, like I want to make a sale or I want to like, hi, Jessica, welcome. Um, you guys really need to be genuinely thinking how to make the other person feel special. And then naturally the products are amazing. So they sell themselves. You never have to worry about that. But you really need to know what you're talking about. And the skin analyzer app helps a lot right Anna we use that with Anna and um she got to see the app but it's very important for all of us to know what we're talking about so that we can speak very surely of each product because the client wants to know how it's going to benefit them right so um, and uh, sorry to interrupt you Carla okay. but of course like being realistic all of us want to you know book a party where you're going to make money there's no way on earth that you're going to want to leave your family go do a party facial and not care to make money. Of course, we all want to make money or have new team members if that's your goal, right? To like level up in the company. But like Carla said, it is very important to know what you're talking about because if you don't inform yourself as far as like the product and stuff, there is no way that you're going to really um, 
if you don't give people the benefit of each product, then they will not care to purchase. Because maybe they can be like, oh, well, I have, a, I have a cleanser already. But what makes our cleanser different, different from others? You know, so the more information that you provide of the product, the more people will buy because they'll be like, oh, yeah, well, my cleanser doesn't make me feel that way. And maybe this brush um, will be beneficial for to improve the texture on my skin. You know, so um, like I said, if you do care to sell, please care to, um, you know, kind of like find out a little bit more of the company that you're in. Or don't be afraid to go into the facial and kind of pause a little bit, take down notes and call your leader. Hey, they're asking me this right now. I don't really feel secure. Please, do you suggest anything or, you know, it's okay. It's kind of like when you go to the doctor and they pull out their laptop. They're just taking down notes. Oh, how are you feeling today? Oh, okay. You know, and then I go home, like when I go to my <laughs> doctor's, um, when, I'm, when I go to Giselle's doctor, I like, kind of like Google whatever the symptoms that Giselle has and literally whatever I search up, that's what the doctor told me. So I'm just like, she's I could, probably Googling as she, exactly. as she goes. <laughs> so don't, I don't want with this, I don't want to say for you to wait to be a perfectionist and like wait to start your business until, until you know everything. No, don't do that because then you will never start. Um, but yes, do take the time. If you do have the time to Instruct you know, yourself. instruct yourself because it is important if you do want to make bigger sales. Yes. Now, ladies, to add on to Amber's virtual um, selling, um, for those who don't want to do facials in, in person, right, we also can provide with virtual um, facials, right? We can do a facial in a bag and then do a facial party. So let me show you guys right here on my screen. Perfect. You can see here on the left side, ladies, Let's see, hold on. Okay, perfect. So you can see here on the left side, you can take a little Snapchat or a little picture on your Instagram or Facebook, and you see you have samples, right? So here you have the TimeWise 3, uh, 3D, Satin Hands, Microdermabrasion, and Charcoal Mask. On the left side, you post a picture, right? I'll be sending you a step-by-step, -step, simple at-home Mary Kay facial kit. So then, in the next post, you would put a picture of yourself. This is a selfie, right? And it says, do some self-care. Who would love a Mary Kay facial kit? So then you put this little questionnaire option on your Instagram and the people get to like vote, like, yes, I want one and um, multiple for me and my family, right? So you give the client two options and then you'll get like direct messages. They're called DMs of people who were interested. And then you, what you would do is have them download the Mary Kay Skin Analyzer app and you will, um, based on the result, that's how you would customize their, um, their facial in a bag, okay? So I remember, Ellie, we were talking about facials in a bag. This is a great go-to, okay? And where can you find your samples? Well, ladies, I got you. Okay, so in your Mary Kay In Touch, you will go to ordering, online ordering, create a new cosmetic order. Down here below, you will see product samples. So here you can choose from numerous products, we have TimeWise samples, TimeWise Repair, Clear Proof, mascaras, eyeliner, color cards, and so on. Did you guys know about that? Did you guys know we had samples? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to have our fabulous elite team leader talk to us of how to team build. So let's welcome Lorena. Yay. Yay. I'm with yeah. I, I just did. I'm looking at my notes. Mm -hmm. Great. Wow. Um, hi, ladies. I'm so excited. I'm, I was really excited when Carla asked me to share a little bit about this because literally it's what we've, I've lived for the past few, past few weeks. I've learned a lot of things through the process. It was not easy but I can tell you it was worth it. I learned so many things that, man, if I were single and had no kids, I would have probably like Speedy Gonzalez. I would have Speedy Gonzalez this whole process, right? But of course you're gonna have factors like marriage, home life, baby, they're gonna lag you, but you kind of have to push through. And if you're that determined, you can do anything you set your mind to no matter the limitations, even living in a pandemic. So. 
I want to share with you guys a few things. I got this information from Mary Kay University, which I encourage you with you. When you have time to scroll through the website, look at Mary Kay University, do the steps, do the quizzes. I promise you there's definitely a gain. Every moment that you invest into Mary Kay University comes back. So, I mean, it's just an investment in your knowledge and you. So I highly encourage you to do that. Um, so we're going to be talking about how to team build based on what I was. Um, oh my goodness. Sorry, ladies. Hold on. <laughs> Here's my notes. So one thing I want to, I want to tell you guys is that we can't prejudge who or nitpick who we want on our team. It will surprise you when I, um, when I started, when I made my list of 20 people, most of the people that are now on my team were not on that contact list of 20 people. Do you guys know what that is? That 20 names that you have to come up when you start your business of people you're going to contact, reach out to, encourage, um, you know, so start with that 20 contacts, right? And don't prejudge who will or who will not put anyone you might think, oh my gosh, it's going to be impossible to get a word out of her or I haven't talked to her in years. Just write those names down in faith and you will be so you might be surprised right those people who you think might say no will say yes i have a great example of that my wonderful sister and she's here on zoom watching me talk about her um she was not on my list of people that i was going to share the opportunity with and you know what she's blowing me away she's on my team now thank god and she's the one who's encouraging me or inspiring me to push through, to keep going, something I didn't think would be possible a month ago. So I'm very grateful for that, Liz. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so your team will come in different shapes and sizes. How I, how I mean that is, I mean, in all forms, all personality types. I have a really nice lady on my team that I'm building a relationship with. I, at first, when we signed her up, I mean, when we initiated her and did her order, I was like, okay, hasta ahí, porque me parecía un poquito, como que no quería continuar. I don't know, there's just something there that I personally didn't click with, but I made the decision not to judge her because really what she wanted was a, someone, I mean, she was a little bit aloof in a lot of ways, and I had to break through that shell, right? So now we're like this because I reached out to her we're, you know, like I let her know how special, how important she is. And I think she really appreciates that. That's something she's always wanted. And now I'm helping her to sell her inventory. So we're working as a team now. I'm really excited about that. Her name's Maria. And yes, so, so you can't nitpick who will be on your team. And it's a very rewarding experience when you do start to get team members. I mean, it just kind of, it's like leverage for you to it's like an accountability rather. It's an accountability for you to keep learning, keep um, growing, don't stop, you know, cause people are looking up to you, know your stuff, right? They're gonna be asking you questions, you have to be prepared. And um, so yes, um, I da, 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 da. a way that you can approach the opportunity guys. So this is how I built my team. I met my, my now consultants at their level, kind of what their needs were, made them feel important, made them feel they were worth it, special and talk about how passionate you are about the, the miracle set or whatever that you're using right let them know how passionate you are about the company the products engage them at their level kind of and just let them see you have something to offer them something that is beyond them and that's what people look for a product a company that goes beyond what they've seen beyond what they expect, right? Like, so exceed their expectations, make them see this is something that you want to be part of, like be part of this, you know, vibe, energy. Yeah, so let them see it as, oh my gosh, I want her image, I want what she has. Always portray your company in that way. Carla, am I gearing off topic here? No, you're fine. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yes, and also guys, um, Okay, so once you talk, once you have a new team member, um, you want to present to them all of the options that they have for inventory. Talk about the Great Start program, what they can get if they, uh, you know, if they make their order within the first few months, within the first month or first 15 days. Uh, let them know what their options are, what the prizes are, the bonuses, kind of like Inaris had enforced 
the, the past weeks, you know, show them the buffet, just show them everything. And you might be surprised what they select if they do like a $1,800 order, you know, everyone has limited, you know, we're not all rich and stuff, but we're hasta donde pueda la gente, ellos van a hacer su orden. Especialmente si les presentas, if you present the, um, what the prizes are, what the incentives, I mean, they might push toward an order that they probably wouldn't have prior to you explaining what the bonuses are. You know, they might select that option. And you can also work something out, something I was able to do with some of my consultants who couldn't afford their 225 order. We work things out. Um, a lot of them did IOUs. And hey, we, we were able to get our, to our goal without no one being in debt, you know, without any of that, like, um, you know, sneaky stuff. Um, so, yes, present them the options, let them know what the rewards are, let them know that there's education that, you know, will be invested into them, let them know that there's tools to succeed, that they're not alone. You know, once they, you know, person starts their business, they're like, hey, where do I go from here? Just be their guide. That's why it's so important for us as consultants to know our stuff because we are gonna have to guide people who are, who are starting at a zero level of knowledge, like they, don't, they know nothing, so you have to guide them. And yeah, that's one of the things that, um, yeah, so share, share also with them what you love about Mary Kay, okay? Let them always see your enthusiasm, your passion, and let that always um, portray itself. Um, I have something to share about one of my facials, but I think I'll leave that for another segment. Um, something really important I think all of us would really benefit from hearing, but I'll save that for later, so. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. So I just wanna congratulate everyone who's talking today. Like you guys are coming out of your comfort zone. You guys are practicing how to become leaders, how to present, how to be teachers. So don't worry about not being perfect because every time you guys teach, every single time you guys will just get better, okay? So to add on a little bit what Lorena was saying right here, we have, um, if you want to grow your team and how, um, what you can do is make a list of 20 people that come to mind like quickly, right? Write them all down. Kind of like, kind of like when you're prepping to like, um, do a guest list for a party. Yeah. So just write everyone that comes to mind, minimum 20, but try to do as many as you can. If you have 50, a hundred, awesome. Because I know Anna and her, she has tons of family. So she was like, oh, I could think of, whoop, she started naming all these people last week. So I was like, lucky you, right? So not all of us are lucky like that, but if you guys do have a lot of family members or friends, just start writing all your list, and then you are going to partner up with your team leader, and you tell her, girl, we're going to have facials. I want um, to know your schedule, what days are you available, and try to book as many parties as you can. Um, and then what you also want to do is you want to make sure you use a skin. Um, the skincare products, right? Because it's going to reflect on your skin. You don't want to say, oh yeah, I'm using the products and then your skin is not looking right, right? But if you're, you're brand new and you just got your products and you feel kind of self-conscious and be like, oh, well, I don't feel perfect yet, blah, blah, blah. It's okay. You can let them know, hey guys, I just started my Mary Kay business last week. I just got my products. I know it takes time for us to get used to a skincare regimen and it's going, it is going to take time, but I can already see and feel all of the results, right? So don't, but don't stop yourself from hosting a party because you don't feel your best, but you don't want to be in the company for like, let's say five, 10 years, and you're not using the products and it shows the customer um, will notice that. And Amber and Lorena were able to see their, um, all of their clients were able to fall in love more with the product. They told us, wow, if your guys' skin didn't look good, I wouldn't have felt comfortable with what you were recommending. But since both of your guys' skin looks flawless, I want to look the same, right? So you are your own image and you, pro you, are, you promote yourself, right? And then you want to make sure that you have the proper materials to share the opportunity, okay? What are the proper materials? Well, you, th this little flyer you guys can download online, okay? So um, you want to make sure you guys tell, you know, I'm just going to go a little bit more in, uh, into detail about this, about the opportunity of Mary Kay, right? There's three options. So, so really quick, when you guys share the Mary Kay opportunity, as of right now, we have three options in the company, okay? So you can start with the regular kit, which costs $100 plus tax and shipping, 
Okay, so it all depends on the zip code that you're in. And that includes um, two miracle sets. It includes satin hands. It includes oil-free eye makeup remover, a mascara, translucent powder, five different CC creams in every single shade that they have. They have a beautiful flip chart. They have a beautiful agenda. And most importantly, your fabulous um, handbag where you will be using and putting in all of your tools. Okay, so that is amazing because that kit, it's worth over, I believe, $450, okay? You also have receipts. You also have customer profiles in there. You also have, I believe, four um, trays. You also have um, samples, okay? So you have everything that you need to start your business and actually come in contact with people. Okay, obviously now we have to come in contact. Um, obviously, if you're healthy, not afraid and all that stuff, keeping your distance, wearing your mask, even if you will have to wear gloves, always carrying a hand sanitizer with you, we have to adapt to this new um, way of living, okay? So this is a perfect starter kit. Now, we also have the most and newest popular promotion, which is the $30 e-start. This includes um, not the kit, okay? but it includes a website where Mary Kay will send you customers or customers in your city or area, they can go ahead and put input a zip code and you will have customers that way. And you will also, and it also includes ProPay, which is a form of payment. And then you have the 130 kit, which includes the first kit that I mentioned, plus the website and the ProPay. Okay, so you have all of those options. Of course, if you just see that it's someone who just wants to do it as personal use, well, you're obviously going to offer the $30 membership. Okay, but if you see someone that, that has potential, actually someone who sees themselves doing what you do, well, the $100 one is amazing, but I personally recommend the 131. Okay, because the website itself costs $50 and the um, pro pay, I think 75, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think it's like 49. Four, well, okay. So it comes you. like to, it's either 39.99 or 49.99. So you guys do the math. Okay. <laughs> so you still get a super great deal right now. So don't miss out. Um, this is a great time to move up, level up in the company because those $30 girl, those don't include tax or shipping. Okay. Like the hundred dollar one does. So, um, you know, just, Keep that in mind and share the opportunity. And when you're sharing the opportunity, it's very important for you guys to talk about the freedom and flexibility the company offers. As you can see here, the flyer helps you talk a little bit about it and you guys can share your personal experience. Like right now, you know, she's a mom. What do we have to our left? My niece, right? She's playing. So Mary Kay's providing us freedom and flexibility. We're teaching you guys while we're trying to still babysit, you know, right here, right? We have fun and friendships. We got to meet women that we would have never encountered on our own. Like got to meet Jessica, Lorena, Amber. You don't count because I've known you since I was four. But I'm building a friendship with Amber because we lost touch in, I think, fifth grade. So look, we got back together, right? I met Anna through Carmen. So I met Ellie through Lorena. But every single person, Jenny, Teresita, Janani, I met every single of you ladies through Mary Kay. Through Mary Kay. And guess what? You guys are closer to me than my own actual friends, right? And like family. And family. Like I feel like we interact more and we get to build a special bond and a special relationship, right? So um, we have this sisterhood and we get to bond and we help other women grow and achieve great things. So you always wanna share those key points with all, when you're sharing the opportunity, then you wanna talk about the extra money, how we make the 50% off everything we sell and all the rewards we also get on top of our sales, right? Amazing, so let's continue. So we're going to actually have our next teacher coming up. So if Ellie can unmute herself, and take over can i ask a question first yes, yes. so um let's say for an example um w someone buys the 30 dollar membership right yes and then like a week and a half later they're like oh i want to get the hundred dollar bag perfect so there's an option when you go to ordering you can get the bag I, I believe there's a section there and you can purchase every all the items in there that's what i did 
So we if we can talk about that and we can um, look more into it, look into it and help you order all those things. So you can still get that deal. Okay. So Ellie, she is Lorena's consultant. She is going to take over. All right. Hi guys. Good evening. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> I'm just going to imagine you guys are all clapping and cheering. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to go ahead and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about some marketing strategies that I've been kind of using for my platform or on my social media. And I kind of, I do have a little bit of a background in business, op well, I have a background in business operations. And part of that is doing some marketing for my agency in, in our agency, the in agency on the inside. So I don't talk to the public a lot, but I do talk a lot to my staff. So here are a couple um, tips. So first, like um, Carla was saying, you want to be familiar with the products, right? You don't want to just talk about some face wash and be like, uh, just clean your face, guys. It's just feels great. You know, you want to have more. And that's one thing that um, the girls have kind of been on top of me of, like, have you done your Mary Kay University? Have you done your... Um, your research or your 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 um, color class or your skin class and I I was like oh gosh girl I don't I have not gone to that um, but what I did do before getting into my skincare and and the color um, classes is I started to research Mary Kay just what what was this lady's deal what was she about what was her vision what was her goals um, and I found out a lot of interesting information in fact I put a post out there um, and my sister she you know she knows now but she donated to a shelter that we lived at when we were kids. So when we were little kids, we lived in a shelter and I found out that Mary Kay, don her organization donated money to the shelter I lived at. So that was amazing. I was like, yes, I'm sold. I got this. We will do this. I will do this for you because of what your organization did for me and my family. So that's part of, that's the product, just knowing it, doing the research part. Research is so important, guys. Um, then the next part is your planning. Now, I am an overthinker, over planner, over analyzer, everything. So planning is where I kind of get stuck sometimes. Cause like, if it's not perfect, it's anyway, we're not going to talk about my story. Um, so planning, and that is the most important part of how you want to, um, market yourself or market, whatever it is you're trying to present. So if you really want, if you're trying to get a certain customer, think about the customer you want. Think about the products you're going to relate to that, that to that customer. Think about the research you're going to have to do to relay that information that is is um, resonates best with your audience, and then just put it out there. Um, one thing that I actually have to do, and I posted this a while ago, is again I'm an over planner. Is I write about everything I could possibly talk about as far as Mary Kay. So. I know in my age group, a lot of women are starting to be interested in skincare. They, they want to look good. They want to look pretty. They want to, you know, know where did you get that shirt, you know? Um, so I try to kind of, uh, put in different topics that are even that are not Mary Kay. I'll try to do like a little selfie of my outfit, OOTD, you know, like little hashtags like that just to kind of help. Um, but I have to plan everything out. Okay. I, right now I can, I'm kind of doing like a, like a picture, picture quote that I like, picture, picture, quote that I like, just to have some like kind of consistency on my page. Um, you don't have to do it like that. You can do like um, a week of a series of like, you know, maybe the a makeup routine, which I'm working on right now, um, or um, I don't know, a trip with your, something you you share about your family, make it personal. Um, and I think that that, that helps. Um, and going, and then it goes into the story. You want to have a story, right? Um, you want to, you don't just want to be random, like one day talk about, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, give me, uh, you don't want to talk about like one day something that's completely off topic from another thing. And I'm sorry, because I am a random person. So maybe I just don't have a, a topic to actually say. Um, building relationships. Building relationships is probably also next to planning is probably going to be um, the most, one of the most important things. Um, and I follow a lot of marketing pages where they don't want people, they don't want just followers. They don't just want a bunch of volume on their pages. They want like real relationships with their audiences where people are interacting with them. Um, 
So kind of doing, knowing your products, doing your research, doing your planning and, and knowing what story you want to give is going to help you build those relationships. So it all kind of connects and we're not even done yet. So you want to build those good relationships. After that, you want to make sure you're promoting it. So sell it. Are you selling me? There's a book called um, Way of the Wolf. It's a, it's kind of a cheesy book, kind of corny, but it's a good book on persuasion. So if you guys haven't heard of The Way of the Wolf, it's a good book. Um, Mary Kay has some really good strategies as well, but this one I, I felt like it, it was more of a, like uh, there's an example of how he says he asked all his employees, sell me this pen, a pen, you know? So a good book, just anyway, um, building, promoting. Um, analyze and adjust. As you do all your market, all your post, um, you, you decide, you know, I want to share this opportunity. I just don't know how. So if you're using social media and you're just not getting a lot of traffic, maybe, or not a lot of people are really interested, you know, they, you're just not getting the traffic you want, analyze and adjust. What are you doing and what could you do? Go on Google ha or YouTube has a lot of um, good resources. Um, Pinterest, Pinterest, guys. Mary Kay has their um, own uh, profile or their own page you can follow on Pinterest. You can download a bunch of neat, very artist, artsy fartsy, um, just cute, you know, like cute little posts. Mary Kay's got you guys. You guys just gotta find them. <laughs> um, they're not all gonna be on her on the website. There, you'll you'll see them around. Um, but and you just get back to the product. Okay, you can go on to it. Um, one of the key, one of the, on your, when you first start your Mary Kay, um, opportunity, when you first start on, on your journey, you're going to come, there's a, on your app, on the, um, the Mary Kay Great Start app, um, there is a part that actually talks about what to post and what, kind of what to look for when you're posting. And they have informational versus commercial posts, um, where commercial posts, they kind of try to make it, uh, the one thing that I wasn't aware of until I actually went through the video, was that they really try to make it so that, they really try to advise us to keep commercial posts private, kind of more for our, um, for our customers or for our clientele, not so much for the public. So anything where you're talking about the pricing of the products, or special offers and discounts, or solicitation to attend a skincare party, or to join your business. They kind of want you to keep that private between you and yourself. You don't, um, they don't necessarily um, advocate that you talk about it on your personal page, or, you know, they, they, they do. Um, and if you want to go through those classes, again, that's on, that's going to be in your um, Mary Kay Great Start app. Those videos in there. Um, but, if you, you can always talk about it on your, on your informational as, sorry, you can always talk about it on your personal page, any information you might want to have, whether about your experience with Mary Kay, about how much you're learning with Mary Kay, about um, how you're helping pay for college through Mary Kay or whatever. Like, there's so many testimonies out there. You have, you'd, you'd have to, you know, be blind to not see it once you start following all these uh, Mary Kay Instagram pages. For those of you that do that, I'm one of those that as soon as I start something, I'm like, oh, I got to follow all the pages on Mary Kay. Um, so that's, um, there are differences on the kinds of posts you make and there are commercials and information, informational, again, commercial, they kind of try to keep it more private between you and a private group or your clientele. And then informational, obviously you can share with as many people as you want. Um, next slide. I think there's a slide another one um so again going back to some of these examples going back to commercial and informational posts some of the examples of commercial posts would be start a business with me today or 10 percent off the time wise collection or join me this tuesday for a power tuesday with my mary Kay's family if you're um posting that kind of stuff on instagram or your or your um personal account you know it, it now becomes a commercial post and i don't um 
from my understanding, Mary Kay does not necessarily advocate for that. They want you to keep that private. So once you once you see people that are interested in what you have to offer, then maybe you can go ahead and send them a private message or text them or call them, however you choose to communicate with them. Um, then going into examples of informational posts, you know, you could obviously this is something you could post on your on your um, personal Instagram pages or your um, Facebook um, and just talk about your talk about how you love Mary Kay, how much fun you're having during the Zoom call, um, how much you've how much how you've earned money to provide for your family, those those type of things, those type of informational posts. Um, that's an example of that. I don't think there's another one. Yes, there was another one. Um, one thing that Carla and I kind of went through when we first when I first kind of joined was we were trying to look, I was trying to find um, posts that I could talk about or that I could use. I don't, I wasn't very savvy with what's out there as far as Mary Kay and Mary Kay, again, in your Mary Kay in touch website has these things for you. Um, so if you look at there, it's, you go to resources, go into digital assets, and it takes you to a whole list of, you, it goes um, into products, it goes into um, social selling, um, so yeah, thank you, Carla. So all these little things, you could download them and then you could just post them on your, um, on your Instagram page. Um, and again, you don't, you don't even have to go around doing what I do, looking silly, trying to find good lighting and, and try to take a picture of my creams and stuff like that. You have it all right here for you. Um, um, they do, oh, I did find out, Mary Kay is, does not like her name messed with, guys. So make sure you're writing Mary Kay with a space, with Mary with a capital M and K with a capital K. None of that joining names, none of this M, K, and you know, like I put it right there in the writing. Very specific, Mary Kay separate, Mary being capital M, K being with capital K, okay? We good? Okay. Um, telling a story, kind of going back to that first post, or that first page of this class, Make sure you're telling a story, um, personalize it, but be professional. Um, they encourage you to be uh, funky and, and spunky and using emojis. They do try to keep it like, you know, let's keep it professional still. So like try to limit it to three. Personally, I like my, I like my five hands like this because I want to make a statement, but I'll shorten it to three for Mary Kay with a capital M and a capital K and space in between. All right. So I don't think there's another one. If there's another one, I think I'm good. You're good. Okay. You're good. That was so great. Thank you so much. Awesome. So yeah, you're welcome. Th no, thank you. So I just want all of you guys to know it doesn't matter how long you've been in the company or how new you are in the company, we all learn from each other, right? Because sometimes you forget where to find things. And literally the first week of Ellie being in the company, she's like, Carla, did you know about all these um, pictures online? And I was like, what? Like, what are you talking about? And she's like, oh, when you go to digital assets. And I was like, Ellie, guide me right now. So we were FaceTiming and she showed <laughs> me all these things, right? So I'm um, going back to the, welcome, Susan. I'm going back to, um, oops. Thank you. Um, to this little page right here you see on the right side you guys have options of like what you what you want to look for right you want to post your career card do you want to post um like something that's se a seasonal product your career card social selling they give you options and then when you put click that little arrow to expand you have just options for days so thank you so much for sharing with us ellie because i'm the type of girl who hates you guys would think I like taking pictures of myself or of stuff. I don't. I don't have the time to edit. I don't. I don't like, no. So Mary Kay, thank you so much for having this amazing tool because your girl needs it. <laughs> so now Yuneris is going to teach us a little class that talks about how to identify your purpose and your why in Mary Kay. Welcome, Delia. Hola. Okay, guys. So, uh, let me prep. I have my daughter right next to me, so I'm a little like, oh, come sit on my Okay, so really quick, when you're in Mary Kay, right, you kind of join excited. You're like, okay, cool, maybe I can do this. This looks fun. And the most important thing is getting that 50% discount, right? 
But then after a week or so, or after a month of being in, if you're not really joining classes or um, following any Mary Kay people or whatever, you're kind of just like, what am I doing? Why did I even start this? Like, okay, the discount, but what is there more? Like, why did I genuinely start, right? So I want to ask you, what moves you? Okay, I'm going to be asking you questions that you can either ask yourselves or you can ask your team members as well if you guys are team building, right? So personally, me, like, people would be like, yeah, you should do Mary Kay, like, do it for your daughter, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that didn't really move me. Of course, I love my daughter. Of course, I want the best for her. Um, but I could have always worked a different job for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could still do something else and still provide the best for her as far as, like, private school, extracurricular activities. Um, it didn't necessarily have to be through Mary Kay. So I was, like, really asking myself, like, oh, yeah, Nettie's what moves you? You see your mom. She's very successful. She, she always has time for everything at literally every single time, every single field trip, dropping off lunch every day. Um, if a person, if the cat died of her consultant or whatever, she was right then and there at that very moment. So I admired that. I love that. And I wanted that, but I couldn't really find my passion in Mary Kay. So I was like, okay, what can I find that Mary Kay has that can help me and move me? So honestly, what moved me in Mary Kay was personal growth. Literally, you guys, when you guys are in Mary Kay and kind of like really joining on a weekly basis, you find out that you can grow in so many aspects of the word, like literally the way you talk, maybe the way you dress, maybe the way... Um, you start thinking, you, you kind of become a little bit more positive. Um, it's kind of impossible not to be positive because when you're like in this little pink bubble, everyone's like, <laughs> you know, excited. <laughs> there's always a party. There's always something to talk about. There's always something like fun and positive going on. Right. And I'm so thankful that I'm in Mary Kay during these times because Mary Kay has kept us positive during this horrible time. I don't know how you guys feel, but for me, the pandemic hasn't really affected us as far as like, being sad, scared, like paranoid, like, no, I mean, you have to keep your distance. You have to, you know, and like they say, we're all going to end up getting COVID at one point. I just hope that I get it when there's a vaccine. <laughs> but other than that, I'm um, going back to the topic. Um, what moves you? Okay. And so that was something for me, personal growth. Like I said, the way you talk, the way you dress, um, maybe the way you think. Um, I don't know. And then for me, Okay, I've always been friendly, but I've always been scared to speak in public. I've always had that kind of like, every time I tell people like, oh, I'm shy, they're like, you shy, stop. Like you always talk. I can talk to you individually, like nonstop. I told you. But like, if I come into a room full of people, I'm like a little bit socially awkward. And I always share this with my team member, um, Jenny. I'm like, ah! socially awkward so I kind of like just become quiet and like observe and stuff but if I'm like sitting next to you then of course I'm gonna you know talk um so again uh and I was a person that Mary Kay also helped me grow in a way of like goal setting okay I have never really been a goal setter I've always been like the cheerleader of like you can do it totally I support you yes girl you got this or I've always been like the starter but never the finisher and things so in Mary Kay when they um gave that cruise promotion, I was like, okay, oh my God, you, know, this, you have to do this. You have to do the cruise. You have to start it and you have to finish it or kind of like with the directorship. It was really my goal to become a sales director for my mom's 50th birthday. I really wanted to go on stage. I really wanted to walk her by the hand and, you know, her like being proud of her daughter and, um, announce me as a new sales director in front, in front of 25,000 people people at the Dallas seminar. That was so exciting. And you guys, I finished that. Like I said, I've always been a starter, but never a finisher in anything. So Mary Kay gave me that personal growth where they showed me by giving me the, the challenge. And then I got it. And I proved to myself that if I followed what they told me, um, I was going to be determined enough to finish it. Okay. So now what moves you? Is it your need or is it your vision? Are you in need of money? Are you in need of knowing more people? Are you in need of being around a positive environment? Maybe you have money, but maybe you don't have the people that keep you like happy or making you feel like 
rich and fulfilled, right? So, or, or your vision, is your vision going to move you? Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you want this opportunity to kind of like, maybe you are an entrepreneur, kind of like Jessica. She owns her own um, daycare, very successful business. Her and her mom have this in common, which is amazing. I love that. But maybe you kind of want to introduce someone to kind of like bringing another income in their family, right? Maybe she knows a lot of moms um, in her daycare, but maybe they're just going home and they have nothing to do when they have to wait like six to eight hours, depending on how long their kids are in, are in school and they're just there not doing much, you know? So maybe she can be that little seed that, or that light in that person's life where she can offer that through Mary Kay. Maybe it's not for her as a business, but maybe she can be that light for somebody else, right? Um, or is your vision like maybe driving the career car? Maybe you don't want a car payment and Mary Kay can give you that, okay? Um, or maybe you wanna be a national sales director where you're kind of just like traveling the world, making that good executive money, but yet having the time to do absolutely everything in Mary Kay. <laughs> that's, kind of what, that's on Carla's vision board and I really admire that. That's my little face, that. guys. <laughs> you see, I cropped my face and put it on little pe people too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. So my next point is um, work on your vision board. So as you saw, Carla's, Carla's is very pretty, organized, very aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Very Pinterest. Mine's is kind of like all over the to. place. Mine's is literally that mommy, <laughs> that mommy all over the place. But once again, if you guys didn't like see about my vision board, I have myself and my daughter in the middle. Then I have a sea of red jackets over there because I want people to become red jackets on my team. I, I want to take them where I'm going, right? I want to earn their career car, these rings, di real diamond rings that the company gives you um, when you're a new um, sales director. So work on your vision board because your vision board kind of like helps you keep um, focus and with your goals always set a deadline. Okay. So when you're in DIQ, Mary Kay tells you, you have three months, you have three to four months. That's it. If you don't complete it, then you have to requalify. Okay. They, everything is with deadlines here. Um, let's see now, what are your daily habits? Okay. Are your daily habits moving you closer to your goals? Are you on social media, just scrolling the time away? I like to go on social media, but then when I see something else, or like when I see Ellie, I'm like, Ellie. okay, girl, okay, I need to step it up again. She's Susan reminding always me. posting selfies. <laughs> yes. So, um, are you just on social media? Like, what are you doing on a daily basis that it's like getting you closer to your goals? Are you getting closer? Are you getting distracted? Or are you moving further from what you originally saw and posted on that vision board? Okay. So now it says here, my next point. Where and what are you investing your time in? Are you on social media or are you um, doing your Mary Kay University or prepping for your next facial? Okay, so how are you investing your time? You can do a little bit of everything, guys, but just, you know, just be like, okay, my Instagram, I have to do it. No one can tell me to change my life or whatever. Cool, do it, but set, set some time. Like, okay, 15 minutes, boom, boom, boom. You either have to scroll fast, you've got, you either have to post fast, like people's pictures, because maybe that's something that you like to do and no one can take that away from you. I love going on social media. So no one's gonna come here and tell me that you need to stop that because that's not good. No, I like my social media, so I'm gonna do it. But guess what I, guess what I do? If I go to the bathroom, guys, instead of re reading a magazine, I'm scrolling, okay? This is personal, but I'm like, okay, it's not like I can't do anything else, you know? <laughs> I'm booking facials through text. Now, <laughs> now it says here on my point that I find very important. It says, being uncomfortable means you are growing. So for our speakers today, if it made you uncomfortable, guess what? You are growing, you are breaking out of that shell and you're becoming like more, you know, it's, it's becoming like a natural thing to do. Okay, guess what? I'm speaking next Tuesday. Cool. I was scared at first. I was nervous, but guess what? It's becoming part of the new normal, right? So the more you do it, the more you become an expert at it and you kind of lose that fear. And so th this is why, again, love my Mary Kay, because you grow in every single aspect. You can grow your money. You can grow your personal growth. 
um, you know, by the way you speak, the way you speak to people, like literally here, you do a little bit of everything. I was telling Carla, I was like, wow, Mary Kay is truly, um, kind of like not only a business, but it's, it's kind of like school. Like I, at first I thought it was cute when they came out with the MK university. Cause when you tell people like, oh yeah, do the MK university. They're like, what? They have an MK university, but no lie. This business, if you study business, great for business. If you're doing communications, perfect because you're speaking to people marketing you have to promote your business um virtually in person flyers you know what i'm saying so literally here you grow in every aspect of the word okay and last but not least tips to level up three of them okay you need to have belief determination and action Okay, so when it comes to belief, you first and foremost have to believe in yourself that you can do it. Because if you don't believe in yourself, no one's going to believe in you. Not only that, but when you become to when you become a team leader, you have to not only believe in yourself, but also in your people. Okay? Believe in the people that you share the opportunity with. And, you know, love them close from afar. If they want to do it as a business, you have to love them a little bit closer because they're constantly contacting you like, Carla, I have a facial. Yanetis, I have a booking. Um, I have a person that wants to join, you know, so you love them from up close because they want to work closely with you. And then if for the ones that just want to do it as personal use, love them the same. You know, you have to respect where everyone wants to be. Tarde o temprano, they wake up, okay? So sooner or later, they wake up and, you know, maybe they want to do it and maybe they're okay where they're at, okay? determination you have to do this if you have a goal for example like lorena you have to do it even when you don't feel like it do it even when you're tired do it, do it even, even though your scared. baby fell and he's over there throwing a tantrum you're gonna sh- th- th- throw toys uh, run and close the door but do it okay yes, and then last but not least action and what i mean by this is go 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 until your goal is completed okay and that was my class for today, really identifying your why, your purpose, and, um, you know, just give yourself deadlines, that goal poster, and, you know, action to your plan. What did you guys think? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so who here remembers, um, Jessica's so ready to pop. I love that. How many months are you? Nine already? We can hear you. Is she chatting? Is she unmuting? Yes. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. Um, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to be uh, 30, 35 weeks on Thursday. I don't even know. She's like, I'm just ready to pop. She has two boys and the third one on its way. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Tumber's like, nope. <laughs> I can barely handle one, girl. There's no word, not laughing with you. No, I admire that. I love it because, you know, she comes from like a big family and I love how she wants to continue that as well. I love it. Yeah. And they're all so close in age. So I'm sure it's hard, but like my mom always says, when you just get it done in the beginning, you're going to be good true. for the rest of your, of your years. <laughs> That's so true. That's what I heard. So let's see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing it good. So um, congratulations. I'm proud of you for becoming, you. becoming a senior. I want to share with you guys a little recap of what we had um, in the beginning of this class. We have a, we had a little bit of ladies who, uh, a few ladies who joined a little late. So let's give them a quick, quick, quick recap, right? So one more time. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. I'll put you ladies off to the side. So here... We have the ladies who invested in their business, right, in the month of July. Sorry for the noise, guys. We do have Giselle here with us, but it's totally okay. And then we have the ladies here who started their month with the spark with the chain. I'm rocking the earrings. Okay, Lorena is too. And then we have our senior consultants. We have Jessica and Amber, hey. which we have them both online. <laughs> They're both Mexican. Oh, me, <laughs> okay so congratulations lady keep sharing the opportunity you guys only need two more to move on to 
the next level, which is a star team builder. That's where Serena is currently at. And then we have Lorena here as an amazing elite team leader. She currently has eight team members in her team. And guess what, ladies, next week, um, you guys will see her as a DIQ, a director in qualifications, okay? <gasps> She is moving mountains, like she said, and she's making it happen. She is coming out of her comfort zone and she's definitely putting herself out there. And I'm beyond proud of all my ladies, but um, especially of Lorena because she definitely came out of her shell for sure. And then here we have our gorgeous birthday ladies. Un aplauso for my birthday ladies. Woo! Amber, Susan, Angelica, Anna, Carmen, and Angel Angela. Okay, so happy birthday, ladies. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So um, we spoke to Anna earlier how she felt about um, her skincare facial. And I know she loved it. So I can't wait to catch up with her this Thursday. We uh, caught up with the American um, University. We talked about how you guys can do a facial in a bag, po post selfies of it, how to get there, right? And then we spoke. We we spoke about. Uh, we spoke about how to team build with your team, right? Just be genuine. Show them the freedom and flexible flexibility of the team. I mean, of the uh, business. Show them how you can create fun and um, fun times and create great friendship fr friendships, girl. And also share with them the different options of the Mary Kay starter kit, right? The $100, 30 or 130 And then Ellie went over how to market yourself. She also put in the chat the app that she uses so that she can um, plan out every post of the week. And if you guys also noticed that Mary Kay also posted on their um on their portal that you guys can create uh, messages as well and you guys can send them out. Um, you can plan when to send them out. And if you guys wanna watch the recording of this class, you guys can go to YouTube and type Beauty by Carla Mendiola or if you search Power Start Tuesdays, we're the only ones that pop up. So don't forget, um, okay, we have 10 minutes. So who here was in my class last week, in our class last week and saw the roller bag? Okay. So you, awesome. So ladies, I want you guys to put a timer and count how long it takes me to set up a table. We have 10 minutes, nine minutes. Do you think I can do it? Yes, you yeah. can do it. We're in Mary Kay. You can do it. We're never going to tell you anything negative. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go to a different room. Okay. So I want to show you the little bag. Don't mind all the mess. Okay, guys, just close your eyes. Okay, literally close your eyes. So we're going to go to my little sister's room and I already got a little table set up right here. Let me lower it right there, okay? So I'll tell you when to start the timer, okay? So ladies, this is what I have. I always have my bag prepared before I go out of the house, okay? So this is how I want you guys to have your bag to make it easy, make your life super easy, okay? So let me show you the bag. I literally only carry this bag. Hey sis, come here. Okay, so my sis, she's okay. So I carry this bag, okay? And then, my Tamage Repair, I always have it in its packaging because I use it as a display. So don't play. Don't forget. Okay, so are you ready with the timer? Ding dong. Yeah, so we're going to do ding dong. Carla just arrived. We're going to set up the table. Oh my God, the Mary Kay lady is here. What comes out first? The cloth. Okay. So, so here's a table where you can set up and put your, your stuff. Which Amber had the, ta the table for me. We're actually going to put it on this side. Okay, actually, I'm not going to help you because I want them to see how you do it in crunch time. Right. So, guys, <clears throat> have the timer. Okay. Don't look at my little shorts and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you can't. Okay. So then after that, ladies, what I do is pull out my roller bag. Get that out. I pull out. Okay, so let's say it's just un facial, right? One facial. So in this side, I have English. This side, I have Spanish. So I always have them their placement. I pull out a mirror. And look in the mirror, guys. I have everything what I need. Get it out. Get the mirror. Mirror cleaned. Okay, stick it on. If you notice, the placemat is already in there. And 
everything's already folded, right? So I have two cotton balls for the lips and for the face. Boom. That right there is ready. This one, I always keep it in the face, in the bag, just because when you have two, two facial uh, cloths here, the client tends to always use both of them. So make sure you give it to them after they wash their face, after the charcoal mask. So don't mind me talking. Don't include that in the timer. I set up my cute little display. It's a little, you can use it. It's a little pencil case and I MK on it. I put my little tool there. Then, who's timing her? Who's timing her? Are you guys even timing me? Okay, well, we have six minutes, so I put the massager, which Susan is going to order later tonight, and she's also going to get her spatula. So I put those tools here, lady. Like, how cute is that? So then we pull out our set in hand. I go in order of how I'm going to do the facial to make it easy. Can you see? So then satin hands go on the left side. Ta -da. Eye cream. Lip balms, they kind of go here, the scrub, the balm. And then you get out the Time Wise Miracle. Always lay out both, because you never know what type of skin is your client, unless you did the app, the Skin Analyzer app, prior to her appointment. Perfect. Oh, don't forget the supplements. I always show the charcoal mask, replenishing serum C, microderm, and pore minimizer. So then I close this back up. So we have the supplements, microderm, like that. Super cute. Yeah, and we're pretty much done. Now, if you want to be extra, like I made Amber B on Saturday, this is what I had her do. Right? Who knows what this is? Okay, by the way, guys, I did that. I started at 821, and it's 826. So, sister, you see? I have everything prepared. Love so, it. Yeah. So for the ones that are mommies and be like, no, I have kids and I don't have time for that and blah, blah, blah. Girls, no excuses. We can get organized the night before, you know, and then when you're there, if you have your team leader with you or, or whatever, have her help you. Um, teamwork. It's all in making yourself look professional and setting yourself aside and making you look different from the next consultant, okay? What makes you different from the next consultant? Mary Kay, write a little message. You beautiful. Watch me not even know how to spell. <laughs> like that. Like write her a pretty message. Like if you don't know her name, write like, oh, you're beautiful. You know, like, or hey, go, hello, gorgeous. But guys, I write really bad. So, you know, like, you know what I do? I always have my girls write it. Hey, Lana, I write it. Hey, Amber, write it. Like, I don't write, as you can tell, I have a first grader handwriting. So um, I, what I love is that you can also erase them like that, right? If you misspelled something, so you can put enjoy or whatever. So all of these little things, if you did not get your starter kit, because all of that comes in your um, in your $100 starter kit that your nurse was mentioning with the purse and the bag and everything, um, you can also order it separately, Amber Work. Remember how you can go to online ordering? Right there. So just go to supplies. Instead of order, ordering regular product, you just go to supplies. Okay, so I hope you guys liked it. And then to clean up, you just kind of put it all together. I always clean up the way I lay everything out in order. So it's easier. And everything fits in our roll-up bag. It's only 15 bucks for us. Or it can be free when you do your qualified order as a new team member. Don't miss out. That, yes, that, that's true. So, guys, we have two minutes left. Do you guys want to all unmute yourselves and say hi to each other? Jenny! Jenny. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy! Directora! Come say hi. Hola. 
<laughs> okay, I hope you guys find that helpful. Did you guys find that helpful? Just because yes. now you guys can view how to do it, right? And what you need to have. So just in your roller bag, everything fits. And if you have a, a girl who needs to use my drape hair, you can just leave this open on the table. Because of packaging, I love leaving it here because it's just so beautiful. So if you know that your girl is younger, you can just leave that right here in the back corner. You see like right there, instructions. And then um, they'll be like, oh, what is that? Be like, oh, your mom can use it or your friend. Do you know anyone who has dark, uh, dark spots or any like any deep wrinkles? Deep wrinkles. So just mature skin. Mature skin. So if you guys enjoyed this, I hope it was helpful. But that's how I lay out my table, okay? But, um, for sure, the, the, what do you call it? El mantel, in English, tablecloth, makes a huge difference. Right, Amber? <laughs> it makes it look all fancy. So images everything, so that includes yourself, your layouts, and make the make the late the girls feel important okay so i hope you guys should enjoy we will see you next week and we love seeing you guys i hope our little group grows and we can be in this beautiful pink exciting and fun bubble where we love to learn change lives and most importantly have self and personal growth so guys before you log off please make sure to take a picture of lorena because this is her last week as an elite team leader Cheer her on! <laughs> you got this. I'm you so proud of Oh my gosh, come and tell me. My Jenny will be soon in you red jacket. This. Right, Jenny? So ladies, what, what, what are your homework? Steps 9 and 10. And MK then, University. MK University. And then you guys only have one step left. And... Where's my phone? Oh, well, I probably left it over there, but Amber already got her certificate, so I'm so proud of her. Um, but anyway, ladies, if you didn't do your homework, catch up. You need to do one through 10. <laughs> one through 10, because guess what's coming next, ladies? Makeup segment. <laughs> Let's go. Quédate en casa ganando con Mary Kay. Stay at home winning Mary Kay. Girl, no one should have. <laughs> okay, we love you all. We can all do it. Just call us. We'll help you. Right, Bye, 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 Lorena. Bye, Lorena. Bye, Jessica. Bye, 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 Bye. Jenny, call me for your order. <laughs> I'll call everybody. Bye, DAQ. Call me, Carla. <laughs> I'll call you. Hey. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>